you know, for years they were lying about who the recipients were of food stamps and welfare in this country. And of course, when the census came out over the last few decades, we were clearly able to see it wasn't the people that were being accused of it. And you're going to find that even this jump in food stamps in the country, it ain't us. So this came out in the Hill, ladies and gentlemen, April 22nd, 2020, USDA SNAP benefits up 40%. So we know there are 22 million people that have filed unemployment claims in America, and they certainly all not from the Black community. In fact, the majority isn't. And now those folks are also applying for food stamps, welfare, a handout, you know, all that stuff that you said when, you know, when you thought it was us. But I, I have a feeling you you always knew the truth. It was just something to come at us about, but they always knew what the truth was. It was their own people. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, announced Wednesday the enrollment in the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, SNAP, has increased 40% since last month. The increase coincides with record numbers of applicants for unemployment since the start of the coronavirus pandemic as social distancing measures put in place by state governments have shuttered most businesses and services, the uptick in SNAP enrollment has cost the program an additional $2 billion. SNAP usually costs the government $4.5 billion each month. There are unprecedented times for American families who are facing joblessness and hunger. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue said in a statement, Each state has requested emergency funding for the SNAP program in their state as of Wednesday, according to USDA. The increase in SNAP enrollment comes as the USDA is reportedly looking to tighten enrollment requirements at the request of states seeking to balance their budgets. On Tuesday, 22 state attorneys asked the USDA not to finalize a proposed rule that would disallow those who already proven eligible for other social programs to skip administrative application process for SNAP and automatically receive assistance. Well, they certainly can't demand that you go up there anymore because that's not possible. You can't. So they're going to have to change the way they even run the U.S. Department of Human Services. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I mean, usually this is how it happens. It even happened during the Great Recession when people had to apply for record number benefits. There were all kinds of stories in the local paper about, you know, the influx of people coming for the food stamps. And as you can see, history is once again repeating itself. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.